This program allows you to create a website that will show and explain every function, variable, and all the other stuff for your scripts. The cool part is you don't need to learn web development. All you need to do is put a couple of comments in your code and Moonwave will handle the rest. This is great for getting a quick glance at how some code works and helps if you're in a team or just forgot how your code worked. It's extremely easy to set up and host your documentation for free, so you might as well do it. Trust me, it'll help you one day. Sorry, but before we get into this, I'm going to have to ask you to watch a previous video where I go over setting up Roho, which is a program that allows you to do a bunch of cool stuff with Roblox games. For example, you can easily see what and when you and others change important files, so you can blame whoever breaks your code, and you can also create easy to understand folders to quickly access all places you want scripts to be in. If you don't believe me, all these games use Roho for a reason. Roho is mainly required because it turns your scripts into actual files on your computer, which allows Moonwave to do its magic. There's a pretty cool link at the top right of your screen that'll take you to a video where I explain how to get Roho up and running, but you can also check out Roho's website from a text guide if you're more like that. Both of those links are in the description. Alright, now we'll get into installing Moonwave. You should have a Roho managed project in your editor of choice at this point. I'm doing this in Windows 11, but installation steps should be almost identical in any other operating system. You'll mainly need a program called Node.js on your computer to install Moonwave. You'll have to restart your computer now, at least on Windows, to continue. Because it isn't verified, you'll need to run an execution policy command on Windows in PowerShell as an administrator to let Moonwave run. After that run, I'd recommend doing this without admin. npm i dash g moonwave. If you're wondering what that stands for, that's node package manager install globally moonwave. Wow, great job. You just installed moonwave. Pretty simple. So now you get to see how I did that live updating wizardry that makes it easy to build up your documentation. After that, we'll get into sharing your documentation with others via a simple link. We'll need to run a moonwave command to start our local server for editing and this will have to be run from our project. If the code editor you're using has an integrated terminal, you should be all good and cool, as long as it points out that you're currently inside your Roblox game folder. If not, open up a terminal and navigate to your project folder. Most terminals these days use CD to move to a new folder, so you can copy or write out the path to your Roblox games folder. You can also use ls to verify that you're in the right place by looking at all those precious files and folders. Once you're in your folder, run moonwave dev, dev means develop, to create a cool little home for your code. This should open up a browser tab with the page all loaded up once it's done in the code oven. Very cool. The package manager to install moonwave doesn't seem to like moonwave, so it creates a bunch of vulnerabilities. I don't know what could happen, so please deal with them. You can hit control C and then type npm i dash dash package dash lock dash only and then run npm audit fix to deal with all that weirdness. Let's get to making some documentation now. So let's create a test module script and give it a definition. Any Moonwave definition comments need this special notation that differs from normal multi-line comments. So to make functions appear inside of the class, add a method tag with the function's name and then also within which will be the class's name. Now look at that website version. Wow, there's some stuff there. Moonwave used its humongous brains to detect that you added the description of something and put it where it needed to go. We can also go ahead and add other tags like at return and at param. That param tag will specify a parameter of that function you're trying to use. We'll call it guy and define it as a boolean, true or false. Then let's say that your function returns true, so we'll say that. And magically, it's all there on the website. That's just an introduction to Moonwave's tags, but you can find all tags in Moonwave's documentation linked below. Now if you want to, you can host your website online for absolutely free. This is mainly helpful if you're trying to share this with other people. You'll need to sync your changes to GitHub for this part, so please watch the previous video, I'm begging you. I'll even give you the timestamp version right here, so please go click it if you want to do this. Now you can just run the Moonwave build command with the dash dash publish flag to publish it if GitHub is set up correctly. You can now go into your GitHub repository's settings and pages to find the link to the site that you just hosted. You've just joined the elite scripters of Roblox, who can easily come back to old code and understand it easily. That makes you cool, I think. Anyways, goodbye.